Hello, everybody. Let's check the Azure Recovery Vault. Backup and recovery services within Microsoft Azure. So I have created a demo recovery vault. The vault is including backup replication recovery services, it includes the site, site recovery. So this is how you create your vault, and this vault will help you to configure your backup using VPN as well as your site recoveries. It also protects your data and gives you enormous credentials to protect your data. This manage option will help you to manage the site recovery infrastructure management, the backup infrastructure management, and recovery plans for site recovery. Let's take a look what it is, how it works. It also gives you alerts and events when your backup is taken every weekly, monthly, nightly, depends on the jobs you configure for it. So let's take a look. So I'm going here and first I want to show you guys how the site recovery infrastructure works. The site recovery infrastructure comes from BMM, Virtual Machine Manager Service, and you need to add your service right here. You can do this through the PowerShell as well. So take a look how, yeah, I try to see what I created as a recovery service vault in PowerShell. So you can even use PowerShell to create vault and manage everything what you do with the portal. This is another alternative way. And you can search your all commands here. See the backup as your RM recovery service backup item. Disable Azure RM recovery service backup protection. Every single command is available once you search here. I'm using Windows PowerShell ISE. Let's not get into it and directly go to these functionalities. That's important here. So this is how you're gonna select it. I want to show you something quick here in the recovery vault is uh, the monitoring part, like how many hours, what's critical amount of backup. Right now, I haven't configured anything, but there's a geosynchronous or local backup option that you can configure here as well. So this is how you configure the replication here. I would always prefer to go geosynchronous or read only using cross access to this for more copies of your important backup. You can take it on premise or Azure as well. So this backup is really important for using current backup. Now let's let's take a look on how, how it works on the backup sites here. The backup sites are important again with the goal of selection that your backup is running on Azure or on-premise, I would go with the Azure and virtual machine and then say, OK. And then we can use some backup policies here. That's a pretty quick backup policies that can be used here. It takes some time. So this is how you create a new policy or there's a default policy of a label. So let's go with the default for now. You can use and modify the your own policies to take this backups for. Now there is no virtual machine setup here that's being located, but in the real case you can set up and select the virtual machine that you wanted to back up with. And uh, also some of the recovery backup infrastructure being I want to show you some backup configuration here that can be geo-redundant and locally redundant backups. That's that's a cool option here. I want to show you one more quick thing before I end up with you is the how the security works with the backup policies here. Give me a second. So let's let's do the backup here 
and then you're gonna see hold on a second up yeah right here so yes perfect and then you can select any of the type VMware Hyper-V and say it's okay and so it's a source prepare so right now you need to add your configuration server and that's how you're gonna like select and add a server right now i don't have a server available but the most important thing i want to show you is to download azure side recovery unified setup so download the wallet registration key which is very important that lasts only for 24 hours that is the security that i am talking about so i am downloading it right now and also downloading the microsoft azure site recovery that takes me to the site here so if you see here that i'm able to download the executable file for this so this is very important for the security part of your backup so how the process work is a bpm server on premise or on azure that's going to be registered with the backup and security vault and then it's continuously backup using your backup policies and then you're going to use the private and public key combination to check your data protected data this is more or less about the backups in azure yeah that's cool actually all right thank you if you have any questions you can type or let me know